In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the best 3ds Max plugins that could help you improve your modeling, animation, sculpting, in addition to many other things. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start things off with a plugin that was simply called 3ds Max Sculpt Tool. I know, it is not the fanciest name. I think that it is, without a shadow of doubt, that 3ds Max is one of the best 3D modeling software. But when it comes to sculpting, well, let's just say it is not exactly something I would recommend. And this is me being nice. I mean, it can sculpt technically, because it just doesn't have any features that allows it to be a sculpting software, whether it be for speed, efficiency, or any other thing, since it is not a specialized sculpting software. And this is where this plugin comes in to help you with sculpting. The Sculpt Tool by Mikhail Lupo brings the power of sculpting into Max. Just like how the name suggests, it presents itself in the form of a little, simple to understand side panel where you can have access to all the functionalities of the tool. And by that, I mean sculpting features. You can adjust the brush size and intensity to your liking. In addition to remeshing objects, choosing from a collection of some of the most commonly used 3D brushes, and enjoy the luxury of pushing, pulling, and shaping your objects with brushes such as clay, smooth, flatten, pinch, and many more. Just like those you find in ZBrush or Blender, for example. And you can do this all within 3ds Max without having to export them to another 3D software. Many areas are also worth highlighting about the tool. For example, you can have the option to choose between a pen tablet or a mouse, or both if you are a left-handed person and it will work just fine. Boolean operations also work fine in conjunction with the sculpting features. You can also select a combination of any brushes to reach your desired results and many more. I know that for many 3D software, this is a possibility, but for 3ds Max, a tool that never really made its way into sculpting, this plugin is actually a game changer. Next, we have 3ds Max Hair Cards Tool. This one is another brilliant add-on that lets you create realistic and stunning hair in 3D with a simple yet smart approach. But how? You see, creating 3D hair has always been somewhat a challenge for 3D artists. First of all, what method should you go with? Is it a highly realistic version with sculpting and modeling, or the more technical one with simulations? Or is it nodes? Well, with this plugin, the answer is none of the above especially when you have a deadline or you don't have the luxury of extra time, or even better, if you don't want to do it manually. And this is where a tool like this comes in. There are two ways to design hair with these cards. First, you can hit create in the menu that comes with it and draw the shapes on the hair you want, which would generate a rectangular looking shape usually. And I'm guessing this is the reason why it is called hair cards. Then you can apply one of the highly realistic hair textures that come with it. The other solution is to choose any 3D model and apply the hair texture directly by selecting the part you want. But don't let that fool you, because the idea isn't as basic as that, since it offers dozens of customization options. And these options can make the hair creation process as simple as brushing hair in real life. For example, we can control the shape, thickness, and color of each hair strand. We can also adjust the overall style and density of the hair, twisting it in addition to other stuff. All of this and more makes it a simple and easy solution for creating hair. So if you want to create hair inside Max, this is gonna be a good solution. Moving on to a plugin called Max Wrap Tool, which is a tool to wrap a 3D model on top of another. Okay, that's slightly confusing I think, but just hear me out. In principle, in the field of 3D, after making a high resolution mesh, let's just say a sculpted character or creature for example, the next thing most artists do is retopology. It is in a sense making the model again on top of a high poly one, either manually or by using various add-ons and tools that are specifically created for this task. And the idea behind it is to make a level resolution model which can run better on most hardware and especially for video games. I think we can all agree that retopology is boring. It can be lame also, and not many people like it. And so, as a way to make it more efficient, this animals comes into play. But the question is, how does it do that? The idea behind it is that instead of wasting time being obsessed with and trying to get the same exact shapes of the high poly mesh, you can cheat a little bit. 
by taking a more practical approach and focusing on redesigning the overall shapes only. Imagine a human head for example, and we just focus on getting a closer shape of the nose, eyes and mouth, then with this add-on, you can make the newly created model fit perfectly onto the original one. This process is done through marker points. First, it is important to make sure that the two models are almost the same size. Then you just need to set up the markers in similar areas within the model, such as for markers at the eyes, I mean at each eye, then just like magic, the low poly mesh attracts itself onto the high poly one, saving you valuable time while still offering an extra level of precision. And this plugin does not just stop here. The tool also comes with a relaxed and smooth brushes to fix issues with the 3D model and smooth any broken area. We can also transfer textures between the two, having control over marker points in addition to other stuff. The next add-on is called Slice Tool, and just like the name suggests, it is an add-on to fracture and cut objects into parts, and to control the fractured shapes as well. To do this, you can use two methods. One is by drawing lines and slicing by using the left click mouse button or by using custom spline shapes to have better control over the fracture using the right click button on the mouse. First, for the drawing lines mode, the idea is simple. You just click the slice within the annals menu and then you are free to draw any amount of slices you want and the slice just happens without having to bother with anything else. As for the custom shape mode, the add-on allows you to use any spline object that you want to slice with, such as an arc, circle, text, freehand, or any other one. So guys, if you are interested in one of these plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more content about 3D and the CG industry in general. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.